Scientists on Queensland's Sunshine Coast have made a major breakthrough against a disease which is killing koalas across the country. They've conducted the first successful field trial of a vaccine for chlamydia, which is responsible for half of all koala deaths. Researchers have been developing the vaccine for five years, mainly with captive koalas. But a field trial over the last year involved 30 wild animals roaming in their natural habitat north of Brisbane. The vaccine failed to protect only one koala against chlamydia. This would be pretty impressive if it was mice in a laboratory and under control conditions, but it's koalas out in the wild, so I think we can be fairly confident that that's a pretty, a pretty good result. The Sunshine Coast uni scientists say their work has far-reaching implications. The work we're doing is going to speed up trials for chlamydia vaccines in humans. It's going to speed up trials for chlamydia vaccines in livestock, so it's, not going, to, it's going to be good for koalas, it's going to be good for, for everybody. It is something that I guess we dreamed about when we came into government, that something a vaccine for chlamydia could be found and here we are literally saying it's been found, it's time to take it to the next step. The researchers want an immediate widespread rollout of the vaccine to reduce koala deaths. Two and a half million dollars is needed to continue their work. I hate to say it but it's going to require more money at some point so eventually um, we wouldn't want anything to stall at this point but based on not getting enough funding for the next future. This little Joey has just had a chlamydia vaccination. Hopefully they have many assured of a brighter future. Bruce Atkinson, ABC News, Sunshine Coast. To finance now, and the local share market was flat today.